Hi, it's Katrina. When you think of scary sea creatures, you probably think sharks. But from sea turtles to octopuses, here are nine aggressive sea creatures you didn't expect. Number 9. Leopard Seals At first glance, the leopard seal is adorable and perhaps even seems cute and cuddly, like a friendly puppy dog of the sea getting scratched on the chin by a diver. But this deceptively friendly-looking creature is one of Antarctica's top marine predators. And while it's not nearly as large as the southern elephant seal, it's formidable in its own right with its excellent swimming skills and willingness to attack large prey. In fact, its only known predator is the killer whale, since sharks tend to stay in warmer waters. Leopard seals often wait at the ice edge for penguins to approach, then aggressively pursue their next meal, using their strong front flippers to propel themselves through the water at up to 25 miles per hour. They are not picky eaters, though, and will also eat fish, squid, krill, and young seals of other species. They have also been spotted eating baby sharks. Chasing penguins on land isn't really a problem either, so while penguins can usually escape from other predators by getting onto a beach, seals can just chase after them. Thankfully, leopard seals rarely attack people, partially because they live in a remote range with a very limited human presence, minimizing interactions between us and them. It's not completely unheard of, however, and there are some recorded instances of leopard seals attacking humans. The first known fatality, and the only one to date, occurred in 2003, when a leopard seal dragged British marine biologist Kirsty Brown underwater while she was snorkeling and killed her. Experts are unsure why the animal attacked Kirsty, but they cited the increasing proximity between leopard seals and humans in recent years as a possible contributing factor. Actor. On a completely opposite note, National Geographic photographer Paul Nicklin was diving in Antarctica to catch seals in their natural habitat. Over the next few days, the same female leopard seal kept bringing him penguins, some that were dead and some not so much. It seemed like she was trying to feed him or at least teach him how to hunt. Perhaps she thought he was a less intelligent seal. But in any case, he had a very positive experience. There's a lot we still don't know about the leopard seal, but it seems like they are solitary creatures, and sometimes they smile. The ends of their mouth naturally curl up, making them look friendly. Number 8. Dolphins It's difficult to think of dolphins as anything but friendly considering their smiling faces, intelligence, and joy as they jump through the water. Dolphins have kept us company out in the ocean forever. We love to depict them as helpful and friendly creatures, and there are many attractions that allow people, including children, to swim and interact with dolphins. Plus, dolphins have even saved us from sharks. Cetaceans are beautiful and intelligent creatures, so it's no surprise that we want to get up close and personal with them. Fascinating as they are, dolphins are perfectly capable of aggression towards humans, both in captivity and in the wild, and attacks against people seem to be on the rise in recent years. They are extremely intelligent, and sometimes they get cranky. We just have to give them their space and read their signals a little better. One of the most recent examples of captive dolphins attacking a child happened in late 2019, when a pair of bottlenose dolphins teamed up and attacked a 10-year-old girl named Lexi Yeo during a family vacation in Cancun, Mexico. Lexi's helpless mother watched as the duo rammed at and bit her daughter, who clung desperately to her bodyboard until a trainer dragged her to safety. In 2018, a sexually frustrated dolphin named Zafar caused a French beach to close out of concern for people's safety. Zafar had a reputation for being friendly before he started making unwelcome advances toward visitors, including pushing a woman into the air with his nose and refusing to let another swimmer return to shore. Another wild dolphin with a friendly reputation named Dusty viciously attacked numerous swimmers off the Irish coast over a decade-long span, attempting to drown one woman and putting another in the hospital with multiple fractures and a damaged lung, resulting in ongoing physical therapy as well as severe anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder. These are just a few of the growing number of examples of dolphins hurting humans, reminding us that no matter how gentle they seem, at the end of the day they are still wild animals with unpredictable tendencies who will act according to what they feel at the time. Number 7. Sea Turtles Who knew that a sea turtle could be aggressive? Generally speaking, people don't have to worry much about sea turtles attacking them because it's a rare occurrence. They are extremely slow and peaceful looking, but getting too close to one or somehow causing a sea turtle to sense danger could result in a violent encounter. 
Their strong jaws and sharp beaks are capable of seriously injuring a human if a sea turtle decides, for some reason, that it wants to hurt someone. Attacks and bites can cause heavy bruising and even bone injuries. Male sea turtles are known to occasionally get frisky and attempt to mate with humans, sort of swimming on top, and they can be heavy. Swimmers, snorkelers, and scuba divers are encouraged to be on high alert for this possibility because the approach is sudden and the offender is difficult to escape. It might sound funny, but you could drown. In May 2019, video footage surfaced of a sea turtle charging at a woman's alligator-shaped raft off Exuma in the Bahamas. The turtle bit a chunk out of Stephanie Sandiland's inflatable, causing its arm to deflate and prompting her to flee for safety. Sandiland scrambled onto a nearby jet ski as her friends looked on and laughed. See? Who would have thought a sea turtle would be brave enough to take a bite out of an alligator? Number 6. Giant Octopus Most people don't think of octopuses as terrifying, and many even think some species are cute. I do, but there are countless accounts of octopuses attacking humans, and while many are unverified and may or may not be true, some have been reported as authentic. One encounter was even captured on video in June 2019, when a giant octopus wrapped itself around a Russian diver in the Sea of Japan. The eight-armed creature appears to use its beak to bite the diver, who eventually freed himself from the octopus's grasp and swam away unharmed. A giant octopus jumped out at another diver, Warren Murray, while he snapped underwater photos at Bluefish Cove in Carmel, California in 2014. The eight-foot specimen was camouflaged among rocks before making its speedy approach, fooling both Murray and fellow diver David Malvestuto. They're pretty clever and sneaky. Although the divers in both instances were not injured, an attack by a giant octopus would be nothing short of terrifying. As the creature's name implies, it's the largest known octopus species, typically reaching up to 16 feet long and weighing as much as 110 pounds. The largest ever known specimen measured 30 feet across and weighed 600 pounds. Number 5. Orcas Orcas, more commonly known as killer whales, seem like playful and pleasant creatures, making their name sound very deceptive. Much like with dolphins, we tend to see them as friendly because of pop culture depictions and their widespread use in the aquarium entertainment industry. There are many instances of orcas coming in to get a closer look at humans out in the wild. They are very curious and smart, and they are the apex predator of the ocean, even scaring away great white sharks. Numerous videos, including drone footage that surfaced in 2018 showing two swimmers playing with a family of orcas off New Zealand, definitely demonstrates their capacity to be gentle giants. While it is true that it's extremely rare for wild orcas to attack humans, it's not unheard of. Known cases come with the possibility that the killer whale mistook a person for a seal, according to Science Alert. But the fact that these highly intelligent creatures are capable of killing a human with ease is arguably reason enough to avoid them, even in the wild, where an attack is unlikely. There have been no deaths caused by an orca in the wild, but their enormous size and power commands respect. A recent increase in complaints of killer whales attacking boats in the Strait of Gibraltar demonstrates a possible change in wild orca's behavior, leaving scientists baffled. Captive killer whale attacks against people are alarmingly more common. Life in confinement imposes severe mental and emotional stress on these social creatures, depriving them the ability to engage in natural behaviors, such as living in large family packs and traveling vast distances. The stress that captive orcas endure often leads to aggression, resulting in devastating and sometimes fatal attacks on humans. Simply put, there is no cage large enough for a captive killer whale, and their assaults against humans speak to their need to be left in the wild. Number 4. Sea Lions like some of the other animals I've told you about, sea lions are deceptively cute and they hardly ever display aggression toward humans, but that doesn't mean it never happens. Sea lions live along Pacific coastlines and islands and tend to come within closer proximity to people than some other marine animals, and because they're territorial, attacks do occasionally happen. The ordeal is both terrifying and dangerous, and while an encounter is unlikely, it should be avoided at all costs, although, as you're about to learn, this isn't always possible. Sea lions are prone to something called domoic acid poisoning, which causes neurological damage resulting in unusual behavior, including heightened aggression toward typical non-targets like us. 
In early 2019, a sea lion suffering from domoic acid poisoning went after a 13-year-old girl named Megan Pagnini while she was walking along the water in Pismo Beach, California. Out of nowhere, the animal approached her and bit her leg, causing a deep gash that sent Pagnini to the emergency room. The sea lion was later seen walking along the beach in a stupor and displaying no fear of humans. Attacks are not always uninvited, however. In 2017, video footage surfaced of a sea lion grabbing a little girl and pulling her into the water in British Columbia. Prior to the encounter, the girl's family was reportedly feeding and whistling at the creature and holding their hands in the air as if they had food. While the girl escaped unscathed, the interaction is a sobering example of the risks of interacting and teasing wild animals. Number 3. Larvae When we think of swimming in the ocean and being attacked by a sea creature, we generally think of large animals that are known for being aggressive like sharks. But the ocean has some less conspicuous offenders, including two species that are most dangerous to humans in their larval form. In fact, it's unlikely for people to even realize they're being attacked. These creatures are the larvae of thimble jellyfish and sea anemones. They cause an irritating condition called sea bather's eruption, characterized mainly by an extremely itchy rash consisting of raised bumps and blisters. The rash appears within several minutes to 12 hours of exposure and usually affects body parts that were covered during the person's time in the water. This is because the larvae tend to become trapped under a swimmer's clothing, including their bathing suit, swim cap, and the sleeves of wet t-shirts, according to the University of Michigan's Michigan Medicine website. Other symptoms can occur, including nausea, vomiting, headache, fatigue, pink eye, and urethritis. Yikes! While the thought of an invisible attack and the unpleasant effects of sea bather's eruption are off-putting, thankfully the ailment is not fatal and can usually be treated at home. Number 2. Blue Ringed Octopus After hearing about the potential dangers of crossing paths with a giant octopus, it might seem only natural to write off smaller species as less scary. But this is a grave mistake, as one of the deadliest octopus species is also the smallest, and arguably one of the cutest. Blue-ringed octopuses are among the world's most venomous sea creatures. A single specimen, measuring just 5 to 8 inches long, contains enough venom to kill as many as 20 humans. The creatures are considered non-aggressive until confronted, in which case they do not hesitate to attack in response to the perceived threat. Many people are stung when they accidentally step on or unsuspectingly handle a blue-ringed octopus leaving curious children especially vulnerable to harm. Effects of the venom set in within minutes, and victims can be rendered paralyzed and unable to summon help. Yet if they do not seek medical help, they can easily die. Within 10 minutes, breathing becomes difficult, and a host of other symptoms are possible, including nausea, vomiting, excessive bleeding at the sting site, and altered vision. Patients who survive the first 4 to 10 hours after a bite tend to show rapid improvement from there on out and are likely to live but medical care is necessary. While there is no anti-venom, a sting victim's best chances of surviving are in the emergency room, as soon as possible after being bitten. In late 2018, an Australian fisherman named Mitchell Ogg was bitten by a blue-ringed octopus when he pulled a net full of crayfish onto his boat. Navy paramedics treated Ogg at the scene and rushed him to the hospital where he luckily survived and recovered. Around the same time, a father of two named Aaron Picks was rushed into emergency care after realizing that a blue-ringed octopus was in his shorts pocket after he gathered some shells and put them in there. He too thankfully survived. In fact, there have been only three recorded deaths from blue-ringed octopuses in Australia over the last century, but it's a terrifyingly realistic prospect just the same. Number 1. Eel It's common for humans to fear sea creature attacks, but they rarely worry about vicious encounters with eels. And with good reason, because it hardly ever happens. But there are those unlucky few who learn the hard and rather unexpected way that an eel attack is entirely possible even if unlikely. Eels are very scary, and I've had several friends that have gone snorkeling at night and been chased by eels. No thanks. Resident Kristen Porter, who was bitten by an eel seemingly out of nowhere while soaking her legs at Kohio Beach in Honolulu, Hawaii. She knew immediately that it was something bad, the terrified tourist later told KHON2, and it wasn't just like a fish nibble, so I pulled my foot into the air and there was blood everywhere. She reached safety with the help of her son and lifeguards, who quickly identified her wound as an eel bite. However recognizable, the injury is rather rare, because eels are typically active at night and live in rocky areas, according to Waikiki Aquarium director Andrew Rossiter. 
This was odd since Porter was at a beach that was not known to be rocky and the bite occurred during broad daylight. While the offending bite could have come from five or six different species, Rossiter suspected that it was a moray eel. The species dwells in water as shallow as five feet and grows up to ten feet long. It's not only capable of aggression, but also of speedily attacking its victims. Porter's disturbing experience reminds us that the ocean is full of surprises, and they're not always good. Thanks for watching! Have you ever had a scary encounter with a sea creature? Let me know in the comments below! And what other types of deadly animals would you like to learn about? Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time! Bye!